tell us your name? Uh, my name is Justy Stelzen. Okay, and where'd you, where do you come from? Uh, I live in San Antonio, Texas right now. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I hear you sort of seen the blue dog. Yeah, I don't know what it was exactly. It was just, we were driving um, around the access road to 281 a while back and uh, saw this weird animal running down along the fence line to the airport. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went around the uh, axis real quick and did a U-turn. Came back and it was it lived there because it knew where all the holes were in the fence. It wasn't running back and forth trying to find its way through. It looked it was big. It kind of looked like a hyena. It didn't really look like a dog. And the, the way it ran and it looked, and it was it really didn't look like a fur. If it did, it was short and it was like grayish color or whatever. And How big was it? Um. It's probably about this big, I guess. It was a little ways on the fence line run, so it was a decent size animal. Mm -hmm. And it found its way and knew where the holes were through the fence, like I said, and it found its way through. And by the time we got back, it was running in the airport, and it went through a culvert, and it was actually chasing birds, trying to catch a bird around there. And then it ran off across the airport. And oh, nice. That's the last time I saw it. Yeah, what sort of coloring was it? Sort of? It was like that grayish color, grayish, light gray. Patterns or Not really. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to get pictures of it, but by the time we got back around, it was already yeah, too far away and yeah. couldn't get any pictures of it. So mm. that was about it. Okay. What? Well, how long ago was this? It was last summer. I'm not sure exactly the day. It was midsummer sometime. It was during the daylight. Yeah, it was during the day actually. Yeah, and that's when we saw it. That's what we worried about it too. Yeah. Was there a lot of people around? Was it quiet? Well, it was. Busy? It's by the airport, so there's car. It's, it's by the freeway in the airport, yeah. so it's pretty busy. The airplanes taking off. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't afraid of the. No, like I said, it lived there because it knew, it knew how, it wasn't running back and forth along the fence trying to find a way under. Mm. It knew where to go when around a corner, and it crossed, I think, like three different fences to get into the actual airport mm. fence, mm. and then it went down and knew where. Knew where it was it going. Went under a road through a culvert, yeah. and then it came up and was chasing birds, trying to catch a bird too, mm. and it went field so. It was in the wide open, it wasn't hiding or anything. No, no. So if I say, if you're comparing it to a, a, a domestic dog, what would you think it looked like, more shape-wise, height-wise? Probably, um, I guess, the height probably to like a pit bull kind of, mm -hmm. I guess, the height. Yeah. But its front shoulders were a little bit higher than its back shoulders. It wasn't really, uh, it didn't, I don't, I don't know how to explain it exactly. It wasn't really a dog, you could really tell. It didn't look like a... Well, a domestic dog, anyway. It didn't look like, didn't look like a coyote. It was bigger than a coyote. It was thicker than a coyote. Yeah. Did it have its sort of tail up, or was it one that had sort of a longer tail? No, it didn't have, uh, if I remember right, it really didn't have a long tail. And it was, wasn't up in the air, it was kind of down. Yeah. yeah. So. Are you familiar with any of these other hairless dogs, like the Mexican hairless dog, or Texas? No, just like the Chihuahua, I guess, the Mexican hairless Chihuahua. I've seen one of those oh, before. Right. But yeah. Not any big dogs like that. No. What's your name, Luke? Luke. Luke Howell. How old are you, Luke? I'm 10. That's brilliant.